Hi, it's Shannon sending positive vibrations and love. I find the topic of the law of attraction, manifesting, the secret, quite interesting, fascinating, captivating. So I decided today to create a video series on the Neville Goodard Collection. Basically, Neville Goodard is the godfather of manifesting the secret. And I'm sure that you've heard about his techniques, maybe even read some of his books. But what I'm going to be doing for the next few videos is summarizing one book in a video. So I decided to start with feeling is the secret. I would be most grateful if you take this moment to like my video, click that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel so my videos will get into the YouTube algorithm and go viral because I'm trying to become a full-time YouTuber. By the way, remember to comment on this video. Let me know if you feel like these techniques will work for you because I love to hear your feedback. I read each comment individually and I respond. So let's get right into it. Feeling is the secret that finds the conscious mind as the nail. Yeah, the conscious mind involves all of the things you are currently aware of, thinking about, it impresses its ideas on the subconscious mind, which is involved in the information processing and affects everything we think, say, and do. It stores our beliefs and values, determines our memories, and monitors the information all around us, deciding what to send to the conscious mind and what we store for later. The subconscious mind is denoted as female, yin, which creates the ideas from the conscious mind and expresses them. The most powerful tool of the mind is feelings, your emotions, energy in motion. It's imperative to utilize your feelings to develop and create a pathway through your convictions to generate and actualize your vision, desire, goals, dreams, miracles into reality. Fulfillment. Neville Goodard emphasizes the importance of positive emotion, feelings, into creating the desire, wish fulfilled. Creation is derived from positive thoughts as well as negative thoughts. Whatever state of mind, thoughts, feelings you express subconsciously becomes your reality. It is ultimately your choice. For some of us, we need to retrain our thoughts, rewire our brain through neuroplasticity, Hebb's Law, by utilizing affirmations, mindfulness practices, meditation, EFT tapping, fitness, health, conscious habits, which you can find on my YouTube channel, on my playlist, to get into a positive mindset to create our best present and future outcomes. All my YouTube content revolve and resonate with creating the best version of yourself today. According to Goddard, this time before you fall asleep and when you're sleeping is the doorway to achieving and manifesting the ideal state you imagine. He encourages and promotes that every individual, night after night, visualizes, imagines their goal, desire, wish, with belief that it is happening right now, in the present moment. Live in that state, the wish fulfilled, imagined. This is a quotation from the book. 
The world cannot change until you change your perception of it. Another technique that Neville proposes is prayer. However, he is not talking about the traditional form of prayer. That's repetition of verses. Rather, he's talking about quieting your mind, getting into a meditative state, relaxation, breathing to get into a passive state and doing this in private. Then you implement self-hypnosis. Tell yourself, I am sleepy. I am relaxed. I am rested. I am in balance. I am in alignment. I am blessed. I am peace. You repeat these phrases in your mind until you truly feel you resonate with these words are in the passive state. Then you let your imagination visualize, create the feelings, belief, emotions of what it is you are trying to manifest. Live in that moment, feel it as if it's real right now. And once you utterly are in alignment, oneness, connected to this reality, release it, let it go. It is coming. Finally, the last technique is capturing the spirit of feeling. This is a quote from the book. When a man believes in the value of advice given him and applies it, establishes within himself the reality of success. This means you have utter faith and belief that what you envision will transpire. Matthew chapter 7 verses 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. You must not be tainted by your past limitations, blockages, the way is open to all, those free of doubt who believe. You can't assume the feeling of two sides of the same coin. Your belief must be congruent with the desire for this to work. So you can't be happy, but then feeling sad. It doesn't work. You have to have a one-way train of thought for this to work. So you truly have to know, believe, have faith. And you can't have those doubts, that doubts in the back of your mind, that inner voice that's blocking you. So this is why it requires that work of all those things like positive affirmation, mindfulness practices to get into that zone. Now these techniques only require 10 minutes a day, but daily, for them to succeed in your life. You have to be dedicated, willing, determined to complete these activities daily. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it's helpful to you in transforming your life in 2022 because this is what my channel is all about. It's all about growth, helping you and me manifest our desires in 2022 so we can have our best year ever. Good vibes.